But first at six, we are continuing our conversation surrounding teacher pay in Missouri. Hey, I want you guys to check this out. There it is. Bam. That's the average pay according to the most recent data from the Missouri National Education Association. The average starting salary for teachers just under 39,000. Now compare that with the likes of Illinois, Kansas and Iowa. This data also comes from the NEA and you can see that all of those bordering states are higher. I stay because I love the kids, but my thought is, am I going to have to quit teaching? It's a question many educators are asking tonight. KSHB 41 news reporter Leslie Dellis board brings us the voices of a local teacher and a spokesperson for the state teachers union sharing why the need for competitive pay is about more than just teachers. I actually got paid more as a sub than I do as a teacher. It's hard for Leslie Vaughn to survive, making less than 40,000 after taxes as an educator. I'm just worried about keeping my lights on and eating right now. So I can't even worry about my retirement. Teachers in Missouri on salary are required to give 14.5% mandatory contribution. Todd the Fuller with the Missouri State Teachers Association breaks it down. 9% uh, is goes to the public school retirement system. And uh, if you are a, a uh, employee in the school district, the remainder is for Social Security and other taxes. According to the public school and education employee retirement system, Missouri is the 44th largest defined benefit plan in the country. Fuller says it's tough for teachers to live outside the classroom. We have got to get to the point where we do something about putting into statute a starting teacher salary that is not only competitive with uh, surrounding school districts, but also competitive with surrounding states. So that teachers like Vaughn can make a living wage. It's a rewarding job and I love teaching. But really the pay, it just really comes down to the tough decision on do I stay or do I need to go. Vaughn also mentioned that while she's making less than 40000 after taxes, she has to work extra jobs just to make ends meet. Now, Leslie, I know you reported just yesterday about the Raytown School District and the efforts to increase pay there. Tell us about it. That's right. After a vote Monday night, Raytown schools voted to raise not only teacher salaries, but all district employee pay by 4% effective July 1st, 2024. I spoke with Rache Deathridge yesterday, who has given over 20 years to Raytown schools. She told me this raise is a blessing. So that's just the hope, and I'm always hopeful. You have to be hopeful to be a teacher, and it just, it's such a blessing. Now, Raytown Schools also told me they shifted the insurance plans for employees, dependents, and families at a reduced rate. A lot of educators, no doubt, do this out of passion and their love for our children. Leslie, thank you for this reporting.